I'm your host, Dan Rojas. And I'm Denise Rojas, and welcome to Green Power Science. Today, we're going to be doing the electric slide. The first part of this test, I do not want you to do. So here's a big warning. There's going to be a big warning sign. Okay, that's good. <laughs> First part of the test, I'm going to be using alternating current from a power strip. So it's coming from our grid, and the potential of electrocuting yourself doing this is very possible. I am, I have insulated boots on, I'm standing on a rubber mat, totally dry, I'm going to have insulated gloves on, and I'm not going to be touching anything. I just want to show you this. We're going to be showing you that water, particularly distilled water, is not conductive. A lot of people think that when you get wet, with electricity, it's a bad thing. It is a bad thing, but it is the electrolytes, the sweat in your body, the potassium and the sodium, that is the main cause of electrocution. Pure distilled water alone will not do it. Most water that you're gonna deal with is not gonna be pure distilled, so it's gonna have a little bit of minerals in it that is enough to conduct electricity. Do you understand the electric slide now? Why don't you show me? All right, when I was a kid growing up, there was a ride, we spent the summers in upstate Michigan, really beautiful place during the summer. Spent a lot of time around this ride called the Himalaya. Now it was a very old German ride from like the 40s. They didn't have the modern version. The old drive motor for the ride was a direct current motor. And the way that it powered up every week, there was a big tank that was filled with salt and water and there were fins that would go down. When the ride would power up, they would move together. They would use an electrolyte, salt and water, to power the ride. Now there was a reason why they used a DC motor. You can adjust the current with alternating current, but it'll burn an alternating current motor up. Direct current motors can take different amps and different voltage fluctuations as long as it doesn't go over their voltage rating. Alternating current motors pretty much have to stay within 10 to 15 volts of their operating range. So first part of this test, do not do. So Denise is gonna be our safety engineer. Let's say I did something stupid, ah, unplug it. Well, that ah. would be really slow. So you, <laughs> you wanna actually be whole, like just okay, hold okay. Insulated cord, all she has to do, unplug it. I'm gonna stand here and be. If I say unplug it, unplug it. <laughs> I'm getting nervous at this now. Okay. No, but wait a minute, okay, okay. as far as really being dangerous, only you're the one that's going to be. She's risk. just hold. Yeah, you're, okay. you're. She's holding an insulated cord. Unplug it. There you go. Okay. We could use a GFI for this, but this would probably trip the GFI and ruin our experiment. I am really here to just be. Unplug it. <laughs> Try it again. For the electrolyte, we're using salt. I have some in here. This chamber's empty right now. I have the extension cord plugged in, and we're set to amps. So you're going to be able to see the amps at this pulse. Over here, this is really important. You're going to get to see the voltage changes that happen too. All right, so I'm totally insulated right here. This is our contact right here where they come together. So if I were to take this, that is the equivalent of a switch. That's a contact, light on, light off light on, light off. There's a little spark that happens in there every time they contact. That's called a contact. That's actually what happens inside of a light switch. I'm going to hold it on. You can see the voltage and you can see the amps hopefully. Now what I'm going to do, move this way off to the side. We're totally clear. Now I'm going to fill this with water, just regular distilled water. Hopefully this works out right. So we now have what most people would consider uh, pretty much a death trap right there. We are live with electricity over there. We have water here. I'm gonna get this distilled water out of the way and we're gonna do a test. I am totally insulated. Put this in the water, all the way up and nothing happens until I touch it. Look how close I can get to it. Not much going on there, no bulbs lighting up because it's distilled water. I'm going to start adding some salt. Mix the solution around. 
So we have a nice salt solution in there. I'm going to put this in here. Oh. And you can see from this distance, the light starts to light up. As I move it closer, the bulb's going to get brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. And if I pull it away, nice. forward, back, forward, back. Now this would make an awesome speed control, but what you need to look at is the voltage. Right now we're at 46 volts. So if you were to run a motor on this as a speed controller with AC, you totally burn the motor up. Come all the way up, and if we connect it, we get full our full voltage. But in the salt bath, very close we do. But as we pull away, our current drops as well as our voltage. And this will go as far down as here. You can see the voltage slowly climb, slowly climb, so Now just so you know, the only risk that I have of getting shocked would be to put my finger between the two hots or over to the neutral, which is isolated from this, or be wet grout, and grounded, either touching metal ground or something else. But this part, do not do at home. Do not do. Now we're gonna hook this to an electric motor. This is an alternating current motor. If I put these direct like a switch, we're pulling 2.2 amps at 116 volts. Now if I put this in the bath far away, way over here, you can see that there's low voltage going to the motor. It's pulling current. As I move forward, the current increases, the voltage slowly increases to where the motor comes on. If I stop the motor with my hand, this is exactly how you would burn a motor up. Very low voltage and the current starts to increase. So as you get closer, you definitely can run an induction motor, different types of motors off of it. But we're running on low voltage right now. So, so what I can understand is without the salt you wouldn't be getting these results. Nothing. The electrolyte is what helps this process happen. Okay. And we can go all the way to contact here in the water. Wow. And it, now, and then I can slow it down. Let's see the corrosion to the electrodes that we got. This is just a half piece of PVC, by the way, with clear ends that I made out of a resin. There is a small magnet that I'm sticking to this Merkel motor. That way you can see the actual RPM visibly. This is direct current. And this is a 12 volt Merkel motor. This is a geared motor, so it runs slower. The high speeds on the back side here, you can see that is a full contact. Right there. Now if we go into our bath way back here, and you can see that it gradually picks up speed. I'm going to move it closer. And if I go past it, it slows down. Don't ever put, like, have a ring on when you do this, because if you get between those two with the metal ring, it can melt the ring to your finger. So I don't have any jewelry on. So what I have right here is a two watt LED bulb. I've shown you in previous videos. The link is here. If you hook it up direct to the battery, it gives you nice light. That is really nice light for two watts. If we bring it over here to our control thing or electric slide right next to it, this LED bulb gradually dims That's all good. the way forward. 
Oh, that's great. Back, forward, back, forward. Certain LEDs will do this. And they'll work with different different changes all the way up. You just don't want to go over their rated voltage. Or all the way to the back as far as it goes. Now yes. as I slide it. So you could make your own controller for DC stuff with this setup. Don't do this with alternating current. Don't do this with alternating current. What did I say? Do not do this with alternating current. Or high voltage with... direct current. It's not just, like I said before, it's not just the alternating current you got to worry about. It's... And if you had a ring on... Well, this have... bulbs, if, if these were dead shorted and I had a ring on and the output, if you do this with a large car battery, if you have a large car battery um, and you have a ring and you happen to go down in between there, or even these batteries, you can actually burn the gold right to your finger. That happened to my dad. But that is the electric slide. I really like your electric slide. You like this, huh? I really like it. It's fantastic. This is a really cool way. If you're going to do this, if you're a teacher and you're going to do this, you can use a 6-volt battery with rated stuff for that. It's a lot safer. The higher the voltage, the more the chances of you getting a nasty burn or shock, the higher the current. You don't want to have metal on, even very low voltage, high current. I do have my ring you. on. Is that okay? Take your ring off. Just don't... You don't really... This isn't going to hurt you, but if she went between the two leads, then it would be... That's really great. <laughs> Again, you do not want to do this with household alternating current like we did. And you don't want to do this for two reasons. A, it's very dangerous. You've got the potential of electrocuting yourself, but also it is also damaging to electric motors on the AC side of things. Low voltage, you can burn the motor up. You can use other electrolytes too. You can use the standard stuff that's used for hydrogen generators, or you can use baking soda, or you can use vinegar, or several different things. That'd be interesting to experiment and see how they both all, all different ways. Yeah, you, you could do respond. that. You can so step up the voltage. Baking soda? Baking soda. Vinegar and salt would all would do the same? Pretty much. Baking soda and vinegar will not release chlorine gas like this does. So we're not dealing with much. Most of the discoloration was from the higher voltage alternating current. This is the electric slide. I had no idea that this is what we were going to be doing. She thought we were going to be dancing. <laughs> I'm your host, Dan Rojas. I'm Denise Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.